All right, good morning. We're taking a look at our weather rundown, and we do have a mild start to March. Talking about highs today in the low to mid 50s. Warm on Thursday. Thursday's top temperature 60 degrees. And then as we head into Friday, we have an impact day because we're going to be watching that storm. I believe it starts as a mix. It could include some snow and some sleet, and then we go over to rain in the afternoon. News 8 Storm Team forecast today. Mix of clouds and sunshine to start. Starting to see some low clouds forming up in our northern counties. For the afternoon, we get rid of those clouds. Mostly sunny, milder than yesterday. 54. For the evening, mostly clear, a light breeze. Temperatures, they'll be in the 40s. Tonight, we don't drop too far. I think we stay in the 40s. Clouds fill back in. We'll see some scattered showers overnight, and it will stay mild. Tomorrow, all those showers wind down as a cold front passes, a real weak front. It's not going to do much to cool us off. In fact, as the sky clears and we get a west-northwesterly wind in the afternoon, it's going to be warm and breezy with highs near 60. Warmest day of the week tomorrow. Right now, it's cold. It's frosty out there. It's 27 in Sealands Grove. We have 27 in Harrisburg, 32 degrees in Lancaster, 36 currently in Adams County. And check out our wind speeds. They have been light. And that's why it was so cold overnight. The clear skies, the light winds really cools us off. Right now, I'm starting to see some low clouds trying to expand. I'll keep my eye on those. If they do expand, we'll just see a mix of clouds and sun this morning, revealing mostly sunny skies as we head into the afternoon. But there is a warm front out to our west, and that should pop us into the 50s today as it lifts north. So take a look. Lots of sunshine this afternoon. Highs low to mid 50s. As we head into tonight, here comes that weak cold front with some scattered showers overnight. I think they're largely gone by sunrise tomorrow, but there just could be a lingering shower. As we clear out tomorrow afternoon, that's when we'll pop into the 60s. And then you say, how could we be in the 60s and talk about snow on Friday? But we have high pressure over the northeast Friday morning. That's going to funnel in some cooler air. As the storm comes in from the south, I think initially we see some snow to perhaps sleet over to rain toward the evening commute. So the morning commute should squeeze in OK. The evening commute will be wet. It's right in the middle, though, where we will see some snow and some mix. So that's why we've highlighted Friday as an impact day for you. We'll keep an eye on those temperatures. I think they will be above freezing, so that does bode well for roads, but there could be some slick spots. As we head into the weekend, it's going to be a cooler 42 on Saturday, 46 on Sunday. I think we stay in those 40s for much of next week with overnight lows in the 20s and 30s. So a cooler start to March.